Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 68th episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about uh, running the future bit Apollo BTC, uh, the standard unit with a laptop or a Raspberry Pi, I guess. Uh, and this video is for those people who don't really want to purchase the full package. The full package is about 900 bucks. Uh, with the PSU, the standard unit is about 600 bucks with the PSU and about 525, I think, without the PSU. Um, so this video is more for like the super budget oriented person who wants to just pack, purchase like the 525, get their own, um, they, they either have their own power supply or they uh, wanna get a cheaper one so it's like maybe over overclock it Make sure to check out my last video. Um, in that video, I kind of go over a lot of things about um, why you might want to just buy like a shitty old Chromebook um, or you know just like an old crappy laptop, just flash it with Linux and use that to kind of like create the full package experience because um, it's actually not that hard and you can uh, save a couple hundred bucks. And uh, yeah, so. Um, I guess I did want to go over um, profitability a little bit because a whole bunch of people love that shit. And you know, based off my rough calculations right now, you're probably still making around 420 to 440 sats per day. Uh, if you were to use, um, and this is just using slush pools estimator, um, 420 sats per day per terahash. So if you have the Palo BTC on standard, you get two and a half, that's about like 1100 sats per day which works out to about like 20 cents to a quarter with BTC at 20K. Apologies for, the, if this seems a little bit more rushed than my other videos is because I just shot this entire thing with my AC on and I'm reshooting it because it sounded terrible. But yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get into the guide portion uh, of the video. All right, all right. So um, I do apologize for like, the ghettoness of this but this isn't really like a setup channel and um but no one his i feel like there are no good videos and no good guides on how to run the uh standard unit through a regular device like a laptop or even a raspberry pi um so this video is so people can essentially do like run it on a cheaper device and not need to splurge on the whole full package so uh, the first thing you need to do um, and I guess uh, one more thing uh, that I <clears throat> probably should go over is that um, the file you download um, I, I believe your processor essentially um, determines what you need to use so <clears throat> for example if you have an Intel processor I think you need to use the x86 if you're doing this on something like a uh, Raspberry Pi then I think you would do the R64 and um, you know so if you choose to do the R64 and run this on a Pi what you would need to do is, you know, just change, make sure that the the file names you type in or the commands that you type in are referring to the correct folder. Um, but I will put a link in the description so you can have uh, access to the the repo that uh, Future put out. So uh, since this one is on a Chromebook ThinkPad 11e, I have to use the x86 I download it open it up extract this click on extract show the files so you see this start dot start Apollo dot sh I open that with a text editor scroll all the way down copy this little script open turn them open up terminal and um, I believe on this portion, I actually did a little bit of a mistake. So 
<clears throat> what you're supposed to actually do is uh, CD into the directory and CD means uh, change directory so it said like yeah come on command not found so I have to uh, go into the correct directory and like I said the video on this is really really ghetto because uh, this rig is at a friend's house and um, I'm like trying to command and like typing commands and also record at the same time but all I'm doing right now is just changing into the directory so I can run the command to initiate the miner so now I'm in there so I type in sudo space paste this entire string press enter and now we're in so it's hashing and um, <clears throat> pretty much after this like it should be hashing there are some I think you can only like run one at a time like this way so if you have another one you might need to open another uh, instance of terminal or um, I will also refer to the tmux thing that I have you can use that to uh, initiate different sessions I'll put the link in the video for that um, this right here shows the uh, different settings so if you want to change it to like turbo you need to erase the the back part or like the last part of the line and um, add the little command string to <coughs> change the settings all right so just to go over some other stuff this is like your pool that's your port that's your username at the pool uh this little x thing right here if you're using like ck solo pool that would be your bitcoin address um i think so yeah we copy the whole thing since this one has the Since this one has the um, the one uh, to run it on turbo, I just want to show you guys that it works. Uh, type this in. And it's hashing. Um, here you can see it. Uh, it's connected directly to the laptop. It's hashing. I did verify that it was received on a slush pool that I was running um, so yeah it's pretty dope uh, I did it on a shitty Chromebook that I got for 40 bucks so I don't want to fucking hear it anymore from uh, these ROI guys that just keep saying you need you can't really do this because you don't know how to hash with a fucking laptop um, I'm pretty sure you can also do this with a Raspberry Pi um, you can I think you just need to use the R64 uh, thing and then do the same things but instead of typing in like x86 you type in R64 and uh, I think it should work but yeah but yeah um, so this concludes the guide portion of the video um, thanks for tuning in uh, don't don't forget to like comment and subscribe because no I really hate asking but this is JTalks Crypto, and I am signing off.